I'm Sebastian and I'm pretty excited to show you DrumGAN, which comes with the latest Backbone 1.5 update, which is by the way a free update for existing Backbone customers. So what is DrumGAN? DrumGAN is a generative adversarial network, which is a trained network that lets you create drums in a super easy and intuitive way. We did a full video explaining how the GAN is working, so have a look if you're interested in further details. But within this video, I want to take full advantage of drum GAN and create a beat entirely from scratch. So let's jump right in. You can see on my screen a Cubase session and I've loaded five instances of Backbone and I just want to start with the first one and make a kick. I have no preset loaded in here, but I have this upper section, which is the drum GAN, and you can see three different sliders for kick, snare and cymbal amount. And I want to take the kick amount and if you change this amount, a new sample will be generated automatically. You can see this here. You can also press on new or you can randomize those amounts and then you will also get a random drum sound where these sliders were randomized. We will maybe take a look in later. So now I have a kick. It sounds like this. So maybe I'm happy with it, but if I'm not, then I can take this amount of the kick and go for the variation depth. So with variation depths at minimum, I have not the option to generate a new variation. But if I increase the variation depth, um, I can simply refresh and look for the right kick sound. So let's take this one and go for this. Um, I've set my tempo to 92 BPM and let's see how it comes out. So let's do the same thing and go with the snare slider. Reduce the kick because I just wanted the snare. And there the backbone capability comes full to mind because you can play the sound at every pitch. You can use the resynthesis, the pitch sections, the filter sections, and so on and so forth. We will, I guess we will do this with the snare drum. So let's look for a good snare sound. Maybe. So this one has a distinct tonal part and a distinct noise part, which I pretty like. Um, let's try and decompose the sound. So decompose, for those of you who don't know this, it will uh, take the tonal and the noise element of one sample and will split this up into two different layers. And then you can have um, more and advanced features of editing those different elements and uh, combining them together. So let's have a listen to the tonal part. As you can hear, there's a high-pitched artifact. By reducing the cutoff, this high-pitched artifact will go to the noise part. And now you have those two different layers, the tone and the noise. I press apply. I have the tone part and the noise. Drum again just creates mono files. And that's why I want this, this noise part to be stereo, to be really wide where the tonal stays in the middle. Um, so I take the second noise, I just duplicated them by pressing Alt and moving those layers, go back to drum again, and there's a little analyze section in here. So it now will analyze the sample and try to find a combination of those instrument mounts and generates you a new noise. Let's have a listen. Compared to this one, pretty cool. Um, let's try and pan those a little left and right. And this is actually the effect that I want. So I want the tone to be in the middle and to be become to get a nice wide noise part. So 
So I take a little filter modulation. And as you can hear, with lower velocities, the filter is closing, the snare gets a little darker and more in the background. And this is for this off snare pretty cool. So let's have a listen. Let's try what drum gain can do here. So I will go for a simple amount and let's have a listen. There is one little feature which I really like is this autoplay. So the sample, the new generated sample, um, which Drumgen does, um, will be played automatically after something changes. So I hit this button and I change the symbol amount. Okay, the one that three before. So one, two, I guess this one. Yeah, I like this one. And this is also pretty cool. So um, Drumgen will store those samples on your hard drive. You can have a de dedicated folder for this one. Um, and you can undo your changes. Let's further shape the symbol. I go with a high pass filter and some resonance and maybe a little bit of filter drive. Okay, let's try this one out. So I will activate the click again. There is some tonal element missing and uh, for this one, as this is some kind of lo-fi hip-hop beat, I will take the lo-fi piano and this one actually is for free, so go grab it. Let's find some chord progression. <laughs> those four chords are pretty cool. I actually prepared them a little so oh let's go up the next turn so I have two more instances left, so let's try to get a bass out of a drum gun sample. Okay, Jan will think, um, how is it possible to get a bass out of a drum synthesizer? It is actually possible and we take use of the resynthesis. So let's create a kick. Um, there's a little thing in here if you go to the sample display and there's a pitch analysis. And what I want for, for the bass is um, bass with a stable pitch. So I will actually go and let Drumgan create a few samples until I find one with a pretty stable pitch curve. So for example this one. And here the pitch is pretty stable. This can be a cool bass, but of course it is too short and it has this clicky like the kick drum has. Um, so let's try and decompose this one as well. And let's have a listen. This sounds like a sub bass. And this is the annoying click. So let's press apply. Let's have a look in here. I marked this, the stable part of the sound and uh, click on refresh pitch analysis and transfer this to my root key and then I move the root key to the C3 range. So now I have this part is my, my, my total center, so to speak, and um, I move the sample end marker to this part where the pitch is stable. Um, now I have two more steps to do. Uh, I will go to the amp page and press on sustain so that the sound will remain as long as I hold the key. And I will go to the recent page, activate the recent in tonal mode and I will go for hold last spectrum and now the spectrum at this sample end marker will be held forever. And now I have this kind of signy, trappy, uh, 808-ish bass pretty right out of the box. To avoid clicking I will 
take this note. And I go to the main page and the trigger mode, I go to legato. And now I can play this like a synth bass. Um, I can even mess around with the purity to get it more signish or more dirty. Um, I will have a look what fits best to the beat. So let's play in some bass. This actually works out pretty well, but I messed up this note, so I will fix this pretty quickly. I don't like this one. These two, they go really deep. So you need headphones or good speakers to be able to listen to those. You will probably not hear them on your smartphone. But I really like those deep sounds and uh, if it doesn't mud up the mix and the master in the end, so I can leave them in here. Um, also for this one, for basses, the distortion is pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> What is still missing, we have one backbone instance left and I will call the snare layer because I guess it's time for some, let's say, clap or let's say additional high frequencies that comes with the snare. And this can be noises, this can be anything. So let's try the dice. Randomize of mounts. Let's see what comes out. Wow. Instant. This is something that I was looking for. I will take this one, go for a new layer and uh, mute this one. And as this new layer is selected, my dice will produce a new wave file going on the second layer. So let's, let's see what's coming up. Also pretty nice. Maybe this works together. Let's go for a third one. Reduce the high frequencies. And the most important part in the end of a beat is to level it so that it will sound good. Let's start with the kick.
So this has been my little tutorial video on how you can use Drumgen for your beat making process. I highly recommend go get this plugin, check it out for yourself and uh, have lots of fun doing some beat creation, some music production, some sound design stuff with it. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.